Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Sunday, October 10th, 2021. Yesterday's read, I said, was for uh, Saturday, October 10th, 2021. It was all wrong, but the reading is correct. So again, just listen to the read. All right, so today we have it corrected. Today is Sunday, October the 10th, 2021. We'll be reading Jeremiah 44, 22, 30, and 45, and 46. It is my mother's 95th birthday. She is resting in heaven, praise God. But my mother was Esther. So we're reading from the, ten, uh, the King James Version of the Word of God. And I don't know where we start at. Over here somewhere. There we go. And it reads. So that the Lord could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings and because of the abominations which ye have committed, therefore is your land a desolation, an astonishment, and a curse without an, in any, without an inhabitant as at this day. Because ye have burned incense and because ye have sinned against the Lord and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, nor walked in his law, nor in his statutes, nor in his testimonies, Therefore, this evil is happened unto you as at this day. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto all the people and to all the women, the women, Hear the word of the Lord, all Judah, that are in the land of Egypt. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives have both spoken with your mouths and fulfilled with your hand, saying, We will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. Ye will surely accomplish your vows and surely perform your vows. Therefore, hear ye the word of the Lord, all Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, saith the Lord, that my name shall no more be named in the mouth of any man of Judah in all the land of Egypt, saying, The Lord God liveth. Behold, I will watch over them for evil and not for good. And all the men of Judah that are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword and by famine until there be an end of them. Yet a small number that escaped the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt into the land of Judah and all the remnant of Judah that are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall know whose words shall stand. Mine, saith the Lord, or theirs. And this shall be a sign unto you, saith the Lord, that I will punish you in this place, that ye may know that my words shall surely stand against you for evil. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give Pharaohapra king of Egypt into the hand of his enemies, and into the hand of them that seek his life, as I gave Zedekiah king of Judah into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, his enemy, and that sought his life. Chapter 45. Now the word that Jeremiah the prophet spake unto Barach the son of Neriah, when he had written these words in a book at the mouth of Jeremiah, in the fourth year of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, unto thee, O Barach, Thou didst say, Woe is me now, for the Lord hath added grief to my sorrow. I fainted in my sighing, and I find no rest. Thus shalt thou say unto him, The Lord saith thus, Behold, that which I have built will I break down, and that which I have planted I will pluck up, even this whole land. And seekest thou great things for thyself? Seek them not, for behold, I will bring evil upon all flesh, saith the Lord. But thy life will I give unto thee for a prey in all places whither thou goest. Now the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah in Jeremiah the prophet against the Gentiles, against Egypt, against the army of Pharaoh, Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, which was by the river Euphrates in Carchemish, which Nebuchadnezzar or Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, smote in the fourth year, Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. Order ye the buckler and shield, and draw near to battle. Harness the horses, and get up, ye horsemen, and stand forth with your helmets. Furbish, furbish the spears, and 
put on the brigadines. Wherefore have I seen them dismayed and turned away back? And their mighty ones are beaten down and are fled apace and look not back, for fear was round about, saith the Lord. Let not the swift flee away, nor the mighty man escape. They shall humble and fall toward the north by the river Euphrates. Who is this that cometh up as a flood, whose waters are moved as the rivers? Egypt rises up like a flood, and his waters are moved like the rivers, and he saith, I will go up and will cover the earth. I will destroy the city and the inhabitants thereof. Y'all see that? Waters, these floods. Come up, ye horses, and rage, ye chariots, and let the mighty men come forth, the Ethiopians and the Libyans that handle the shield, and the Lydians that handle and bend the bow. For this is the day of the Lord of hosts, a day of vengeance, that he may avenge him of his adversaries. And the sword shall devour, and it shall be saturated and made drunk with their blood. For the Lord God of hosts hath a sacrifice in the north country by the river Euphrates. Go up into Gilead and talk, take balm, O virgin, the daughter of Egypt. In vain shalt thou use many medicines, for thou shalt not be cured. All the vaccines, the MRSA, the Johnson & Johnson, the Pfizer, for many medicines, but thou shalt not be cured. The nations have heard of thy shame, and that thy cry hath filled the land. For the mighty man hath stumbled against the mighty, and they are fallen both together. The word that the Lord spake to Jeremiah the prophet, how Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, should come and smite the land of Egypt. Declare ye in Egypt, and publish in Migdal, and publish in Noth, and in Tephanus, Say ye, stand fast and prepare ye, for the sword shall devour round about thee. Why are thy valiant men swept away? They stood not, because the Lord did drive them. He made many to fall, yea, one fell upon another, and they said, Arise, and let us go again to our own people, and to the land of our nativity from the oppressing sword. They did cry there. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, is but a noise. He hath passed the time appointed. As I live, saith the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts, surely as Tabor is among the mountains and as Carmel by the sea, so shall he come. O thou daughter dwelling in Egypt, furnish thyself to go into captivity, for Noth shall be waste and desolate without an inhabitant. Egypt is like a very fair heifer, but destruction cometh. It cometh out of the north. May the Lord add a blessing. To you, the hearer, me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God. Praise God. We'll just stop here at 21. 21. Praise the Lord. Again, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club. For your continued support and donation of $20 to the Smurf Club. We are Smurf, 7-Minute Read Family. Seven minute read followers, just seven minute read faithful folk. We do read across various social media platforms, but if you want to give donations, you can donate to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, dollar sign Mama Pam 23, Zelly Pamela Dobson 0723 at gmail.com. We are the fastest growing ministry on the internet that I know this ministering truth. We broadcast through haps.tv. Caps.tv forward slash Pamela Dobson. And through this platform, we broadcast on all these platforms. So any one of those you go to, you should see the broadcast from Haps TV going forth. We also are broadcasting on Instagram and a few others. We broadcast Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Remember, Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. And remember, Mama Pam loves you, and there's absolutely, positively nothing you can do about it. Won't you be kind to somebody? Until the next broadcast, God bless. Until the next read.